Hey guys, this is Jarek the Dragon with another accuracy test today. This one's of the JLS FN2000. Let's see how accurate this gun is. Alright, so you're zoomed in on the uh, 50 foot test. So as always, 50 feet semi-automatic first, then we'll go full auto. Alright, full auto. Alright, so 50 feet. Looks like you're going to be able to hit the can pretty easily. Alright, so here's the can. A lot of BBs in here. Yeah, there's still soda in there. So, can's pretty uh, chopped in half. Pretty damaged, uh, but 50 feet, main point, you can hit a can pretty dang easily. Alright, so you're zoomed into the 100 foot test. As always, first semi automatic, then we'll go full auto. Can on the left first. Alright, let's go full auto. Let's wait for this gust of wind to pass by. Wind always loves to do that. You start shooting, comes right along. Alright, let's go down range, look at the cans. Alright, so here are the cans. Some automatic we did hit it quite a few times after we got the targeting right down. Um, big hole. So there's a big hole right there. The rest of the can's pretty well dented. So you're gonna be able to feel it at hundred feet. Fully automatic. Cans are pretty well dented, tiny hole there. Quite a few holes in this one. So, cans pretty well destroyed there. So, at 100 feet, you're going to be able to hit your target. Um, I wouldn't be able to say the gun was extremely accurate. Uh, probably actually around average at best. But you're going to be able to hit your target at 100 feet. That's not going to be too much of a problem. Alright, so if you guys have seen the video before, you know the drill. But if not, uh, it's a pan down there, about 4 inches wide. About 150 feet away. So as always, some automatic first, then we'll go full auto. Let's try that again. Semi-automatic first, then we'll go full auto. As soon as the wind stops coming by. Now we'll go full auto. And we're out of BBs. So not too incredibly impressed, but 
Um, I do remember this gun being a little bit less accurate the last time I shot it, so either JLS has improved or um, I was just I just have a bad memory. But the gun I would say about has average accuracy. I couldn't say it has the greatest accuracy. I I really couldn't. But it does have average accuracy and at 150 feet shooting at a four inch target that's pretty good uh you're gonna be able to hit a man-sized target that far away uh, that's not gonna be much of a competition all right so you know all the drill we're zoomed all the way out you're at the end of the barrel and we're just gonna be shooting on range so you can see the bb's all right let's go full auto And it's low on feed. So there's just plain shooting the JLS FN2000. Um, again, recap: not terribly great accuracy, not terribly awful accuracy, but a good enough gun to where you can hit your target at decently long ranges. All right, so I do have to say I really do like the look of the FN2000. Just the F2000 overall has always been one of my favorite assault rifles. I've always really liked it, and JLS does not wear that down. Um, definitely for the price you're paying, this is definitely a good one to get. Especially for how comfortable this gun is and what you could really use it for. Uh, this is definitely more of a CQB feeling gun. So you can use it for that more, but if you wanted to take out the woodland, very easily you could do that. You could still hit your targets. It's still have a very high rate of fire. So that is the accuracy test of the JLS FN2000.